Hey guys, this is Brian Check. Um, we're back with another video of Moonlight Beethoven, Beethoven Moonlight Sonata Third Movement, and I got my green book right here. Don't believe me? Don't believe me? You suck. Nah, just kidding. Here it is, my book, and I got my piano. Don't believe me? You suck. Here's my piano. Okay. Okay, and I don't play like that. I play like this. Okay. I don't shake my hands when I play. Okay, just for your info. Don't believe me? I don't. I don't have anything else to say. So this is what I know of Moonlight Sonata Beethoven Third Movement. Uh. work it out in this video I need my goal I need my goal and my goal is to uh, accomplish the exposition of this song by Monday if you don't know what an exposition is an exposition is the first part of the song and the main part and then it repeats in the recapitulation I'm gonna do that in a separate video right now I need to accomplish my first goal of 2016 so that's what I'm gonna do and Get ready. Um, I'm gonna put the camera here. Shoot. No, right there. Okay? So, let's do it slowly.
Okay. One, it has how many beats? It has uh, it has four, four beats or four. Well, one and two and one and two and three and four. this part. like this really wide so pay close attention backwards so the now that I practiced a long time and I got it so that's let's see uh, I want to practice this one.
same thing. So now we only need the only thing we need to find out is this. Okay, so let's play that. Okay, that's that. Now this. Uh, I think we go here. No, let me read. I don't want to think nothing. So. I did this. I had to do D sharp actually. I did this. It's supposed to be like this. Okay, so. Okay. see me clear right ah, there It's the same thing as except lower. So that sounds a little low, which G. Remember, we just had the D sharp. Look, the end of the chord. Look at all the patterns. Look, if you have your note, um, you un might understand the pattern. Just look. It all has a chord on G sharp or A flat minor because is that G sharp minor doesn't exist in this piece. Okay, so it goes left hand goes backwards, right hand goes forward like that. So it's opposite. So and on the uh, you just have to do look at your right hand, look at the second finger.
just watch. An octave. But if you don't want to do that, take out the C sharp. Okay. So it's this. Sharpen out the octave. Genius. Actually, I recommend it. Now let's see for this. And it's the same thing. Just remember. That's remember. Okay. Here we have C, C, which means C sharp. And then we have a uh, higher and um, uh, C sharp, middle C, and so C sharp and uh, D. Wait, yeah, D. Uh, wait, it is a G sharp minor, right? So we have C sharp and then we have D sharp. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but. Down because oh, I get the pattern down, up, down, up. Just follow me, just follow me, follow me. So C sharp, D sharp, and then G. Dummy. G sharp stays the same. C sharp and then B. Oh, oh. I recommend you doing this. Uh, if you want to be really, uh, really, uh, uh, really professional, you can do this. Yeah, because that's what it says here. Just want to keep it simple. Do this, and and if you're watching my videos of Beethoven, you should have your notes down. And if you don't know where we are, we're on page five. But it says here I'm gonna follow the notes. Okay, let's keep it like that. And I repeat. So let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Okay. Uh, where were we? Um. What the fudge? Oh. Sharp, so then see. 
it says C, it's sharp. And then it says B, the D doesn't change, it's A sharp. And then... to go here. Wait. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, you do. And you gotta go octave. And now, when we go in this part, now, look. Just follow. Follow, follow. Play, pay close attention. If you hear difference, you just... I know you hear different. So, look. It repeats. Now when it repeats at the last part with left hand, you do not go down and up. You stay there. Your thumb stays like if it were like... And now your pinky goes where your thumb was in the other... Uh, before in the repeat, but it doesn't say repeat because it doesn't have the same note. So, so it's like this. play it but I'm just learning this okay so we need to repeat again I'm gonna have to cut the video and put pause on this because I'm gonna repeat it uh, and I don't want you to guys to get bored because we're gonna learn more and then my video is gonna get super long so it's already super long so let me just cut it and yeah okay guys I'm going to do it slowly and here we go so For this video, we're gonna go up to here. Um. Wait. Okay, that's it. Um, well, only up to here. Only up to here. That's it, okay? Um, almost at the end of page 5 because then when there starts a new section so basically just that okay so now that we concluded the uh okay now we're gonna go to here now we 
right hand, remember, it's the same thing as over there. It has a little extra notes, but don't worry. It's not hard. Something happened. Okay. It, it's the same thing. It's just it has a little extra notes, but it's not going to be hard. Okay, don't worry. It's not going to be hard. It's just more fingers, but remember, you, if you practice, you can succeed. Okay, so... Remember, it is for... From there to here, yeah. that's extra notes. So let's st let's do it with the old notes. Like so, left hand do an octave of where you where I told you. Not here. That's too low. So here uh, where I told you. This lesson video is only for me. I'm sorry. This is not for you guys. This is not a tutorial video. This is me practicing this because I need to finish my goal. So. on the left hand so and we start with an octave on the left hand wait wait Pause the video. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, we ran out of room uh, for this video, and my storage is up. And uh, I only have a few time. I only have a little time to record this video. So I just want to say thank you, guys, for watching, and have a great life.